Hello, my loving students. Welcome to your civics class. In previous class, um, I told you about the three organs of the Indian government, the legislatures, the executives and the judiciary. And uh, not only that, I also told you about the um, legislatures. Um, there are two houses in the um, Union Parliament. Um, so we discussed or I told you uh, about the uh, the members of uh, the Rajya Sabha and how they are elected and how they are nominated and what's the composition of Rajya Sabha and uh, qualifications also um, I told you qualifications tenure term of the house as well as quorum salaries and the allowances of the members of Rajya Sabha right so now in uh, today's class uh, I'm going to tell you about the uh, Lok Sabha the lower house right so lok sabha in uh, lok sabha we are going to uh, discuss or we uh, I, i'm going to tell you about the composition of the house lok sabha term and tenure of the uh, house as well as a very important term is their uaf so that's also we are uh, going to discuss and the qualifications quorum of the house right so let's start today's class so let's begin uh, with the first topic that's the composition of uh, Lok Sabha. So uh, maximum uh, strength or maximum uh, seats provided by the constitution that is 552. So this is the total uh, seats provided by the constitution but at present there is 540 five uh, members are there in Lok Sabha. So at present there are 545 but the maximum strength provided by the constitution is 552. Right? Now out of uh, this 545 members 543 are directly elected by UAF directly elected by UAF and two are two are nominated by the president and these two uh, must belong to Anglo Indian community right so I have written here 500 uh, out of this 545 at present there are 545 members 543 are elected directly elected by UAF. Now what is UAF? UAF the full form of UAF is Universal Adult Franchise. Universal Adult Franchise. So that means uh, the person who is 18 years or above 18, the person who is 18 years or above 18 uh, is eligible to uh, choose their representative, right? Or eligible to vote in elections and eligible to choose their representative. So that is UAF, right? So the person who is um, like uh, below 18 years, they are not eligible to vote in election, right? So UF means the person who is 18 years or above 18 is eligible to vote in election and to choose their uh, representative. So that's UAF. So these uh, members of Lok Sabha, 543 are directly elected by those, uh, those uh, voters, right? UAF. Now, next, uh, two are nominated by the president. Two are nominated by the president and that two uh, members must belong to which community? Anglo-Indian community, right? So, now, this is the composition of Lok Sabha. Now, next topic is term and tenure. Term and tenure means once a person is elected as a member of or nominated as a member of Lok Sabha, so, um, uh, for how many years he or she can serve as a member of Lok Sabha? 
So that's five years. So term and tenure is five years, right? Okay, now. UF, I already told you about the UF. Now come to the qualifications. What are the qualifications um, required uh, to become the member of Lok Sabha? So top of all, he or she must be citizen of India, right? Uh, same in the qualifications um, required to become the member of Rajya Sabha. Top of all, the qualification, top of all, uh, he or she must be citizen of India. Second, should not hold office of profit. He or she uh, must not hold or should not hold office of profit. So I already told you about the office of profit. That means a person cannot hold two offices at a uh, at the same time, right? Under the uh, government institutions, we can say. So two, uh, that person cannot hold two offices. Now, third qualification is um, when we talk about Lok Sabha member, the person should be 25 years or above, not below 25. So if a person is 24 years and 11 months, then he is not, he or she is not eligible, then he uh, or she is not eligible to contest for the election of Lok Sabha, right? Okay, now. So uh, now um, come to the next topic that is quorum of the house. So uh, quorum of the house, I already told you about the quorum. So quorum is what? The minimum members to be present before the meeting starts of the um, of house, right? Now, uh, or we can say it's a one-tenth, one-tenth of the total members to be present to start a meeting. So, quorum of the house, Lok Sabha, we know the total strength is, at present, there is 545 members. So, one-tenth of 545 members, that is 45.5. So, that's 55 members. So, 55 members to be present to start Lok Sabha meeting, right? So, that's the quorum of the house. Now, uh, come to the next topic that is leader of the house and leader of opposition, which are very important topics. So, let's discuss about those topics. Leader of the house, of the house and leader of opposition. So, leader of the house, we know the prime minister. As the leader of, so the prime minister is the leader of the house right uh, and uh, in this capacity he has given a special a seat in the uh, union parliament or uh, he has given a, a front bench in the house of common right he has given a special uh, seat like front bench in the parliament uh, so a, a, a word is there treasury benches so treasury benches means he has given a special front seat or front bench in the parliament right now next is uh, leader of opposition so leader of opposition uh, like um, the leader uh, he is the leader of that uh, second largest uh, political party right and uh, the leader of opposition also, uh, like uh, the leader of opposition enjoys the same status, same status and uh, facilities as uh, enjoyed by the uh, cabinet ministers. So cabinet ministers um, means those ministers are top leaders, we can say top ministers or the uh, ministers of the cabinet um, who are having special portfolios so about uh, the, the cabinet ministers you will come to know in the later uh, chapter so um, cabinet ministers are what cabinet ministers are those top ministers uh, who are having special portfolios so the leader of opposition uh, enjoys the same status and facilities as like as like cabinet ministers right 
okay now why uh, the uh, leader of opposition is given such special treatment or is given a same status as the cabinet ministers so there are several reasons the leader of opposition can ask questions and uh, he can uh, criticize and oppose the uh, policies made by the ruling government as well as he has full right to ask questions um on the policies made by the ruling government as well as he has full right to uh, like um, ask questions on the deeds and the wrong deeds by the ruling government right that is why the uh, leader of opposition has given the same status and facilities as the cabinet ministers right children okay now come to the next topic that is the speaker of the house speaker of lok sabha so now who is speaker and how he or she is elected speaker is one of the prominent members of the lok sabha right and uh, he or she is the presiding officer of lok sabha now how he or she is elected he or she elect elected um from uh, among its member only from the member of lok sabha only right and he or she presides the Uh, over the meeting of lok sabha right now uh, by a simple majority uh, of uh, so speaker is elected from amongst its member only uh, by simple majority of members present and voting right okay now next uh, topic is role uh, functions and powers of speaker so now the functions of speaker um let's talk about the disciplinary function of the speaker speaker maintains the discipline of the house so discipline of the house means discipline of lok sabha so um, he or she maintains the decorum of the house secondly if a person if a member um tries to lower the dignity of the house and uh, or if a member disrespect the uh, disrespects the house then in that case the speaker has full right to suspend that member from the house right and uh, speaker only uh, gives permission to uh, like um, permission uh, or allows uh, the press correspondents and the strangers to the uh, gallery of the house right and uh, speaker decides whether the bill is money bill or ordinary bill so speaker will only decide whether the bill is money bill or ordinary bill so what are these money bill and ordinary bill that you will come to know in later uh, in this chapter in uh, later right so uh, speaker only decides whether the bill is money bill or ordinary bill and uh, not only that speaker also uh decides uh, what type of questions to be asked first and what type of questions to be asked later so um, admissibility of the questions so um regarding that also speaker has full right and um, uh, one more important uh, part is there that is casting vote casting vote so generally speaker does not participate in the voting in house uh, but uh, when uh, there is equal vote the like equal uh, vote like uh, for and against uh, there is a equal vote then in that case in that case the speaker gives his or her vote to break the tie so that vote is known as casting vote right to break the tie or tie breaking vote we can say uh the speaker gives his or her vote that is a casting vote and generally speaker does not participate in the um in voting right and uh, now next is speaker regulates the proceedings and the debates in the house not only that speaker can disqualify uh, any member under the uh, anti defection law so anti defection law means if he or she finds 
um, some member or uh, member is uh, like uh, member tries to lower the dignity of the house or tries to tries uh, contempt of the house in that case the speaker can suspend that person for time being right okay so uh, here we have completed uh, the Lok Sabha and um, the uh, powers and functions of speaker now in next video i'll try to complete this chapter so uh, whatever i taught you in this class today uh, revise it once again and try to understand right children okay that's all for the day thank you